I'm gonna give Stu a kiss. <laughs> A stoner, bro. Stone gargoyle. It's great. All, All right. right. Ooh. Mm. There's a wedding? Ooh. Cult headquarters oh. got goats. Oh. <laughs> oh. Or I now pronounce you we wedding crashers. Crash a wedding. We could crash a oh wedding. Oh my god. Wait, so what? <laughs> I forget. What's the blue one? What's the blue the one is hype. But we are the one hype, so that's a possibility, but the, the cult's cool, so oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Frey, you got an option on your hands. You got options. Uh, do you help the group or do you go to the cult again? <laughs> I kind of like. Uh, Let's go to the cult. Let's go. If you want to go to the cult, we can go to the cult. You do you. You do you. Cult. Yeah. Go you time. do you. Go time. Why is it so uneventful? Uh, oh god the, damn it! Oh, oh, what? No. Why is the car stopped? Everyone's riding peacefully along until Stu gasps and grabs Scott's shoulder. Oh. Uh oh. Pull over! It's an emergency! Oh. Oh no. Do you have to pee? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Do you need to pee again? Maybe? You got car sickness. No, bro. There's this poor defenseless turtle stuck <gasps> on its back on the side of the road! <laughs> oh, I wanna marry him! <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say something sooner? <laughs> Scott oh, whips the car no! around and narrowly avoids running over the poor tipped over turtle. <laughs> bro, that's a snapping turtle if I've ever seen. Bro, little bro, I'll flip you up right and you can go back to living a happy turtle life. Wait, Scott, don't flip the turtle over. Why not? Because what if it didn't need to be flipped? What if this turtle is carrying the whole <laughs> world on its back? Oh my oh no! god. This is not the fucking <laughs> spin. No, this is not the God, the I love magic. stupid men. We're not oh, doing the color deep. of magic here. I've heard a parable or something about the world being at a turtle's back, so it must be true. That is a Stephen King reference, yes. Yeah. But look at this poor turtle's little legs kicking the air. It wants to be on its feet. But is it kicking or is it actually walking across space and time, carrying our whole world around? Hmm. I. I guess I don't know. Scott, that easy to stop working. <laughs> if we take He's the world stupid, off the turtle's back, we could put our whole planet, of course, and be plunged into chaos. <laughs> Thank God, Polly and I took all those shrooms <laughs> earlier, so we could realize this life-changing truth before it was too late. <laughs> Dude's right, we can't risk dooming monster kind by flipping the turtle. Causing the apocalypse would totally ruin my day. Oh no. But what if it's just a regular turtle <laughs> who needs our help? I don't want to doom monster kind either, but... Good point. Should we risk the fate of everything we know and love for the sake of this turtle? Yes. 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 Well, my road trip contract says I can't decide the fate of reality while I'm high, so Freya, what should oh. we do? Imagine if Freya was high. <laughs> Well, time to get high to make this real. Flip the turtle. You may be doing the world. Damn it, you can't watch the poor turtle stuff anymore. You have to flip it. <laughs> Freya, it's okay. <laughs> it's risky, but I respect that you're sticking to your morals, Freya. Freya wants to kill us. That's what this is now. You were all like, only a monster would leave a poor <laughs> turtle to die, and I fucking felt it, bro. <laughs> but we we are we are monsters. Speak for yourself. I've learned to think of myself as more of a mild inconvenience. Oh my God. I love him. I love him. <laughs> Let's flip the turtle together, Freya. If the world ends, we can both just take the blame. It's gonna bite somebody. You and Scott flip the turtle slowly, <laughs> keeping a lookout for mountains collapsing or moons falling out of the sky as your world is thrown aimlessly into space. But after the turtle is on its feet, nothing seems as different. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We didn't end the world, and we saved a turtle. We're on a roll today! Oh god. But wait, is it possible that the world did fall off the turtle's shoulders, but we just haven't noticed yet? Like, turtles don't move fast anyway. Maybe it was marching ever us ever so slowly across the galaxy, and we knocked Earth off course. Well, that's true. We might be slowly but surely falling to our inevitable cosmic <laughs> destruction, and no one is the wiser. Oh my god. Oh, well, nothing much we can do about it now. Back on the road! Holy shit, you might have just doomed everybody and you won't even know until it's too late. You lose two minds <laughs> stressing about that possibility. No! Oh my god! Oh my god, we're gonna be stupid! <laughs> oh god. Well, there goes that. Good job, Freya. <laughs> Chillax, Freya, it's okay. <laughs> oh dear.
All right. Sure, you might have doomed everyone with a horrible death by a black hole or something. But for today, you saved an innocent little turtle and then gained two soul. Isn't that what really matters? Bro, we have so much soul. <laughs> We're gonna be so good. It's gonna be great. <laughs> We're going to heaven, guys. We're going to heaven. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> now, come on. Let's hurry up and finish the road trip before the apocalypse arrives. All right. Oh, Oh, cult. Well, here's where we lose our soul. <laughs> Are you really going to join a cult? <laughs> uh, I suppose they've got team building and all the d dead goats you could ever want. And maybe fun ritual orgies. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, that's fair, I guess. You know? If you can ignore all the murder and brainwash practice, it honestly sounds like fun. Where do you want to start? <laughs> Spiritual sacrifice uh... initiation rights or cult marketing meetings. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... That's magic, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's magic, correct. Okay. So, many? <laughs> we, we, it's we up to however you, like you want to do, yeah. It's however you want to do it. Uh, sacrifice, sacrifice, All right, sacrifice, okay. Sacrifice, okay. Sacrifice, uh, sacrifice, sacrifice. We just sacrificed and went back to the hotel! <laughs> <laughs> you, and your, <laughs> you and your friends enter the cult's sacrificial chamber with all the optimism of the first characters to die in a horror movie. <laughs> oh, no. Check out this holy pamphlet! The ritual sacrifices are completed <gasps> to please Mothra, the deity of sacred secrecy and darkness! Mothra? <laughs> Completing the sacrifice will give Mothra's worshippers a taste of its exclusive magical powers! <laughs> fair, fair. Cool. Can we siphon some of that magic into the car afterwards? Nice. Or we can do it? That's not even a question, but whatever. Hell I know yeah, mean. I love a good old ritual sacrifice. Let's kill some goats and have a big kinky orgy in the pool of their blood. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> oh, they have mouths for faces. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Oh, no, can no, Dahlia, can Dahlia have a voice? Okay, <laughs> Give it to Dahlia. I, I, haven't, I haven't voiced anything. No. Um, hold your horses, eager acolytes. You cannot simply wander into Mothra's sacred halls and throw yourselves into a goat blood orgy right away. But why not? That sounds counterintuitive of wanting Be more cult members. Up, I'm <laughs> I have my arms outstretched. I don't know if you can hear that in my voice. <laughs> Hit the button. Mothman. Fre Fre huh? Fre oh, Fre Fre I'm sorry. No, you're good. Okay. Why not? Because that is not what being in a cult is about. So many new cultists only care about the orgies without understanding their ceremonial implications. Hmm. Implication. Implication. <laughs> Wait, th there are ceremonial implications to this? I, I thought that we were all just like the fuck goats. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Only you do that, good brother goat fucker, Ismael. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and that's exactly why nobody wants to grind on you with the blood orgies anymore. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ and all that is holy in this world. I really just He's not here fucker. right now. <sighs> anyway, so now, now we have a proper sacrifice tier list that new cultists must complete in, in the correct order. All right, then. It helps us weed out those who aren't truly committed, like those sacrilegious bastards that put their careers and loved ones above our dark cult. Right? That's so rude. Pathetic. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Fine, Not good for the we'll 401k. Do, oh, we'll do it your <laughs> way. This tier list says, we first have to sacrifice something of great personal value. Freya, what do you suggest? <laughs> sacrifice uh, your accounts of dragon heat so you like role-playing you like the other <laughs> You suck over 1,000 hours of play! Or sacrifice 8 of the 22 subscriptions that have interesting newsletters you may or may not want to read anyway! Oh. See, the uh, first one just sounds like I thought we was giving a Final Fantasy. I'm not getting rid yeah. of that. Fuck that. No, so. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm tired of my laptop getting cluttered with all these informational newsletters and videos I want to consume but never do. Us too. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Us too. Who here doesn't have the miles long watch later playlist that they'll never clean out? Maybe? Valid point. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the game calling us out. <laughs> hey, look. Okay. Look. Yeah. yeah, I keep meaning to watch How to Predict the Lunar Cycle, but never get around to it. Damn. Oh. But. I don't know, lycanthropy's more fun when it's a 
when it's all a surprise. That's valid. Good on you, Scott. <laughs> what a good boy. I'll lose this article I saved and never read on the ancient- Oh, I'll lose this article I saved and never read on the ancient technique of making alcohol out of cashews in Goa. Mm. I mean, let's be real, I'm just gonna keep making toilet wine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, that is you, Polly! <laughs> Indeed. Brother Goatfucker has been subscribed to a newsletter on cheese aging techniques for years, but has never once opened it. Jesus. Is it is it goat cheese? <laughs> it's a goat cheese. It better be. Probably. It seemed like a sophisticated and mature thing to be interested in. I like the person I'll become when I read those newsletters someday. Someday. Well, thank you, Brother Goatfucker. Um... <laughs> Personally, I'll sacrifice this reminder to watch that TED talk on how to stop procrastinating and improve my life now. There we go. There you go. Uh, or maybe I'll keep it. I'm sure I'll watch it tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. For your part, you sacrifice your subscription to weekly book reviews. You've had that 10 must-reads of 2007 article bookmarked <laughs> for too long. Oh, dear. You and the mantra cultists bask in the communal relief of admitting you're never getting around to learning new things and gain plus three magic for the sacrifice. You have so much magic. Good shit. But you lose three minds yeah. and losing all the knowledge that could have been. We, we are, are going to be stupid. so We're stupid. stupid. We're we are going don't. to be so stupid at the end of this. We, uh, God, we need to get brain power, man. We, uh, the secret government lab. Government lab. Or the world's biggest potato. I want to see a patat. So you want to see so a patat? Wait, so is, is, my, is mine the purple one? Is mine the purple one? And mind is the purple one, yes. Mind. Yeah. yeah. Potato. Yeah. I want to potato see potato. Mind. potato mind. Let's go. Potato. 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 potato, 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 potato boil potato, a mash and stick them in a stew. Potato. Behold, the world's biggest potato. So large, so starchy, so rustic. So ripe for the creation oh. of the world's largest plate of french fries. There's definitely plenty to do besides stare at this agricultural marvel. What do you do? Research the potato, feed from the potato, or benefit from the potato. I want to research the potato. I, I'm good, chosen! Good. <laughs> so you're going to research the potato? Yes! It'll, it'll help us get smarter. We need smarts right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, you decide to learn more about the potato, but as you're reaching for some informational brochures, a trench coat wearing rando grabs your wrist. Oh, God. You looking for info about the potato? He whispers, don't waste your time with their brochures. If you want the truth, follow the white rabbit. What? <laughs> I'm chasing rabbit, but there's like a ton of white rabbits in the world, bro. Which one are you supposed to follow? What? what? No, no, don't literally follow a rabbit. You gotta follow the metaphorical rabbit. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, are you referring to the white rabbit tattoo on your neck? Is it you were supposed to follow? Because that isn't what a metaphor is. Yes, that was a test and you passed it. That means I can trust you with this knowledge. The big potato, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> no way. Yes way. Check out my forum where I post all my theories about the potato. <laughs> You're just one click away from unveiling the truth. By the way, all of those other potatoes, all act as paid. Also, be sure to sign up for my potato <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> Why, hello there, young folk, a nearby kindly old man says. It's the farmer who grew the potato. What brings you to my humble little farm? Drop the act, old man, shouts the conspiracy nuts. I'm onto your game. Like potatoes, this conspiracy has many layers, and I'm gonna bust it wide open. Onions have layers. Onions have layers, not potatoes. You suck at literary comparisons, dude. Suddenly, the farmer pulls out a gun and shoots the conspiracy theorist four times in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> then he what? puts the gun at you all. Excuse me? Sorry, kids, but I can't let the potatoes conspiracy get out, he says. <laughs> it's a shame, but I gotta kill ya. But we didn't even get a chance to check that weirdo's blog. We know nothing about the potato other than that it's big, so are we good? Oh, oops. But you also be murdered that guy, and that's a loose threat. I can't leave you all alive. No, you promised your mom you wouldn't die today. Talk the farmer out of killing you. Convince him you won't tell anyone what happened. Okay. Tell oh, the farmer God. your most embarrassing <gasps> secret or let the farmer record a video of you saying that you will murder the president to give him the mental leverage against you. What? No, no, what? no, no, the farmer no, 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 you don't farmer exactly anus, know where farmer, the anus, anus is. farmer anus, farmer no, anus. No, I already know what I'm choosing, but what? I was reading the second one just to make sure that sunk in. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, let's go God. with the first one. <laughs> All right, tell the I'm farmer right. your most embarrassing secret. You don't yeah. exactly know where your anus is. 
Yeah, we're not killing the president. <laughs> what? How do you not know that? Don't you have an anus, Scylla? If you don't know where your butthole is... Have you checked uh, your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know... <laughs> How do you go to the bathroom? Does the poop get lost and stay stuck inside you? Uh, yes, obviously you have an anus and you can poop, but it's not like you can look down and see your booty hole when you sit on the toilet. Uh. Through years of speculation and caution, uh, cautious experimentation, you learn that it must be located somewhere below your waist. But beyond that, you're stumped. Oh no. Wow, says the farmer. I'll be honest, kiddo, I wish I didn't know that. I missed the person I was 10 seconds ago before you told me that. Oh dear. <laughs> You and me both, pal. You and me both. Okay, I think we have a deal here. You don't tell nobody about the murder, and I won't tell nobody that you don't know where your own asshole is. Good day, kids. He leaves. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. New rule. Everyone on the road trip is required to know the location of their own anus. Scylla, come watch this. Oh. No. Polly shows you a playlist of recorded oh. colonoscopies that she found online <laughs> because the internet, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> you still have to sure where the anus is colonoscopies do a better job of teaching you where the anus is from inside the body than the outside okay. but after the sixth video you tell your friends you know now so you can stop this you lose three hype by weirding out your friends but oh. later that night you try to check the potato conspiracy blog and trust me what you read earns you a plus three mind <laughs> so we're slightly smarter but now our hype is getting down we're getting like so boring <laughs> oh hype. dear all right we have caves so was it spelunky or the troll gas station troll gas station we do have money so mm -hmm. that works in our favor this would help our mind and then it the would magic would go magical. too that's all yeah 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 because like i don't we don't really have to worry about money right yeah. now because eleven's good mm -hmm. and soul is cool and all but i also that unknown scares the shit out of me <laughs> so <laughs> Troll gas station? Troll, troll oh, yeah. gas station, where we going? Can we pick up some Mary Jane? <laughs> you can say that. Yours? <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> the petrol. This gas station looks like it was lifted straight out of a children's storybook. Petrol. <laughs> oh dear. A children's storybook <laughs> where the fantasy heroes drive cars, I guess, but nonetheless. Okay. Despite all the weird and whimsical elements, it looks like this gas station has all the normal functions. What do you do? It's ice, and ice, so cute. You right. think you the bathroom or go to the shop? We have enough. We have enough magic. We don't need to be losing money, but we can get mined. Yeah, okay. that might be a good idea. Yeah, just don't take down my hype anymore. I can't take that right now. <laughs> you head to the bathroom to drain the old pipes, but the door is locked. That's odd, but you guess you can hold it. Okay. The, the clerk materializes <gasps> yes. in front of you and nearly oh, makes you piss again. your pants anyway. <laughs> not again! <laughs> oh man. Welcome to the mystical P-Troll Gas Passage. <laughs> where fun and fantasy stop briefly on their way to paradise. Jesus uh, Christ! Bath uh, bathroom P-Troll. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let you enter the restroom until you solve my riddle three. Hundred. Jesus what? Christ! Bro, I have to- I'll piss on your leg. <laughs> she gives you a thick storybook. The title page reads, Wandering Adventure Laboratory Satisfaction Riddles by CEO Gobblebock. Gibblebock? 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 <laughs> Seriously, why is she making you fill out a customer satisfaction survey before you even use the bathroom? Oh god. First of all, this isn't a customer satisfaction survey. It's a whimsical gimmick to en enrapture the magic minds of our guests. This is a gas station, bitch. Indeed. Second, if you're not gonna buy anything, company policy says you gotta pay in something more valuable than coin. Oh, there goes our mind. Personal information. No. Oh, oh boy. It's soul. I hope it's soul. Take my soul. Ugh, fine. This book of riddles is big, though, and it's only the first of 12 high fantasy volumes. What are you gonna do? I want to sit here all day. Suck it up and fill out the book, 120 pages of your feelings about using the bathroom, or invoke your right to survey by combat, which you fight the author of these riddles to the death instead. Fuck yeah. <laughs> right, let me get my standard issue survey horn. There's a survey horn? The clerk pulls out an ancient bullhorn off her belt. She blows into it. An enormous troll in a business suit appears. Let's go!
Hello, employee number 58359, he says. Oh, dear. Uh, have I been summoned to defeat a plucky adventuring party or perhaps a feral soccer mom with expired coupons? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're fucking <coughs> doll. She invoked survey by combat. Doll, meet CEO Kibblebuck. I love it. I love it. Just as a reference, I I love bullshit names for trolls and goblins, and this is like fantastic. Like I actually named my fucking impidimp back when I was playing Sword and Shield Chuckles, and then he <laughs> yeah. him, and then I just had a big ass grim snarl named Chuckles. So. Oh my god, that's fantastic! <laughs> he was perfect. <laughs> Great, says Gibble Bach as he swings a briefcase warhammer at your face. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the gas passage as you preferred method of death. Fantastic. You fight. It's intense, bloody, and made worse by Gibble Bach asking you survey related <laughs> questions while you beat each other up. No, my blood loss has not helped my satisfaction on this trip. <laughs> How did you first hear about the survey by combat? Would you recommend this ass kicking to a friend? <laughs> that bitch. No. <laughs> On a scale of frowny face, neutral face, or smiley face, how satisfied are you with my roundhouse kick? Neutral! You lose three stamina neutral. in the fight, but finally you've brought, you've brought Gibblebach to his knees. Did you just make a pun out of what I said? I, I sure did. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I guess it's true. The customer is always right. But please, before you kill me, I have one last request. I don't want to kill him. He's actually running a very nice business. Fair enough. Will you rate this jewel to the death five stars on Welp? I will for you. <laughs> oh, never mind. You gotta say the line. I rated zero stars. You scream as you valiantly behead Gibblebot. <laughs> Fuck. Yay! I'm the CEO now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, you can go to the bathroom now. In fact, you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, fuck yeah, they have right. on me now. Good shit. That guy signed my paycheck, so if he's dead, I'm going home. Okay, <laughs> valid. <laughs> Good show here. You gain three mind in the bathroom and slate CEO. Hell Kim yeah. Bach, scourge of ye old Silicon Valley. <laughs> Honestly, worth it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, it's my turn. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Border Weeks? of a one person country. <laughs> Or roadside wig museum. I want to wear a fancy wig. The, the wigs would help our hypes. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. My goodness. Our hype not looking too hot. Wigs of every color, shape, and style, from afro to updo, are on display here. You never knew there was such a rich history to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to check out the exhibition, attend the kids, attend the kids tour, kids and tour? visit. We're, we are children here. <laughs> Yay! Okay, you and your friends attend the kids tour instead of checking out any of the more age-appropriate options at this museum. Oh, of course. No. I was literally just cuddling the damn wigs. So. Right? <laughs> Hiya, kids, says the tour guide. Today we're learning about the wonderful world of wigs. If you answer my questions right during the tour, you'll get a gold star. Woohoo! Gold stars! I love positive reinforcement. That makes me feel smart. Look at this wig. It's an Egyptian pharaoh's wig from thousands of years ago. Does anyone know why Egyptians wore I wigs? Know why. Why, do I know why to keep their heads cool. Hey. Huh. Avoid sunburn, insect bites, and male pattern baldness. This is right there on the sign, dumb dumb. Man, this competition is easy. <laughs> it isn't a competition, but fine, use your gold star. Now look at this week, kids. It was worn by a judge in the UK. Can anyone tell me the fastest way to become a judge in the UK? Me, me, me! The fastest way to become a judge is to steal another man's powdered wig! We're gonna win this, Polly! The tour continues. Polly and Scott rake up stars, but oh by no. the end, they're tied with another participant. Oh, f I love those stars! <laughs> Little Bobby! Scott, we gotta take that whisk down if we wanna win that prank. We wanna win! <laughs> and that's the end of the tour, says the guide. Aren't wigs fascinating, kids? Who knows what wigs will be like in the future? Exactly. 
the fucking thing. Future. <laughs> pick me. Pick me. I think wigs will uh give people the ability to understand poetry. Oh. Uh, shut up, you two! The guide snaps. The tour is over! It was just a rhetorical question anyway! A rhetor... what question? Rhetorical, which means this question is worth double points! Michaela, help us answer this question right and kick Bobby's diapered ass! You don't know the answer because there is no answer, but there are other ways to eliminate Bobby from the competition. Oh, <laughs> Ritual sacrifice? some drugs in <laughs> pockets! Frame him for doping the competition. Bribe Bobby, uh, bribe Bobby with one of the things his parents and the law have denied him all these years. A taxi license. What, what is with this game and giving why you do taxi have, licenses? Why do we just have this? I just I. Can we let the baby drive? <laughs> is the is the baby going I mean, to be is. allowed to drive? I think it's one way to wipe out the competition is letting a baby drive. I mean, that's baby a driver, let's go. point. <laughs> You know what? I'm curious about this taxi. It, it's appeared twice now. I just, I don't even care what we lose. <laughs> hey, great idea. It's a good thing we found that website that lets you buy unregulated taxi uh, license at a ridiculously cheap price. Unregulated? You spend three money and bribe Bobby with a taxi license. He asks his parents to quit the tour, as his only desire now is to pursue his new career. That's nice. <laughs> Later on in the mean streets of New York City. Does anyone want to take this? <laughs> oh, honey, oh. please hurry and pull a cab. The baby's almost here. Oh my god. Look, Look. here's one now. Cabby, hurry to the closest hospital. My wife is in labor. Cabby! What's the hospital? Oh god. Uh, Wait, is the taxi driver a fucking toddler? How does he even reach the pedals? I'm the best taxi driver ever! Vroom, vroom! He's not even driving! He's just making motor noises! Honey, we need to get it out and find a new- There's no time! He said he's a good driver and even made the vroom vroom sounds at all oh, more contractions! <laughs> the city council keeps sending- oh! The city council <laughs> keeps sending Bobby letters begging him to stop driving a taxi! Little do they know, Bobby can't read! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> but this summer, little Bobby will learn where babies come from the hard <laughs> way. <laughs> oh wow! Taxi Bobby, Bobby <laughs> goes room room is coming to a theater near you. Pre-order your tickets now for a three bus hype voucher. We got hype back. I'm, I'm so confused. That's so great. What the Do fuck? Think we could have gotten a bear like driver sequence before. Probably. Probably. Oh, that would have been funny. All right, Freya, where do you want to go? I want to pick up a hitchhiker! Oh wait, we're gonna lose two! We'll lose no! two! No! I'm sorry, I didn't know! That's okay. I'm uh, so sorry! I'll, I'll, I'll make out with him another day. Alright. No, I'm so sorry! Well, you have the sorry. game now, so you'll be able to make out with him in the private game. Yeah. No, I really didn't know, Dolly. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. No, I can have him in the private game. It's fine. It's either gonna be him or the fuck you best. So it's like, okay. oh. Alright, okay. so, so, Scylla, so, where do you want to go? Um, you trade. You want you want trade? A trade. Sounds good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take another one for the team, and I'm going to uh get. Actually, no, I want. I kind of want to talk to them. I Go talk for to it. Them. All right. Uh, I want to fuck around and find out. <laughs> All right, Silas turn. Okay. Oh. Well, welcome to New Swap Shop, where every customer leaves satisfied. Asterisks. Are you new swap shop is not responsible for <laughs> dissatisfaction, dissociation, early onset dementia, involuntary dementia happen in rapid excessive growth. Exocelic in the breath, what? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, my dumb lawyer makes me say that. Anyway, anything you like. <laughs> okay, right, so what do we need? We got a postcard from your mom. Soul and lots someone of else's money. credit card, which is money. The sequel to the erotic fan fiction about dragons and the mind control lessons. Okay. Let's see. We so need our money mind, is getting low. So we the need this. Lessons were magic, mm -hmm. so we know that at least. Yeah, this is magic. Yeah. So we can get rid of that for anything else. <laughs> or yeah. we can lose the postcard, which is soul. True. We can do either. Let's see. I'm gonna say magic is our car. That's our gas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna say let's keep our magic high. Let's lose a little bit of soul. We'll be All fine. Right. And we have the karma ah, voucher, a treasure map, an incredibly delicious salad, or a haunted river mirror. 
Ooh. I kind of want to mm. see what the haunted room mirror does. I mean, of course you do. Um, I'm, <laughs> we're getting low on stamina, and I'm assuming that is the delicious salad. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. So I'm going to say let's go with that. All right. The salad? Oh, no. Yeah. Because our stamina is getting low. All yeah. right. Took my nice. Shit. Oh, great choice. Want to know how I got that thing? It's pretty funny. Noodle proceeds to tell you the most fucked up soul withering anecdote you've ever heard. <laughs> and none of the children survived. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, Ooh. enjoy your purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, is that where all the salads you made me in 14 came from? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> but I want the answer. <laughs> uh, well, West Town Gift Shop or the Post Apocalyptic Settlement. I think we should probably go with the Wild West Town. We're actually getting pretty high in magic, so that would work super well in our favor. All right, doll. Who do you want to talk to, Scott or Polly? Uh, we had a nice moment with Scott. I think I want to talk to... For all for like all resource gains and losses from locations, events are increased by one. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't matter each. Yeah. I could have talked to Stu. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, okay, it's fine, run. it's fine. No, now that I own the game, I'm going to be very happy going through my own run. That's okay. Uh, we'll do... What's up, Polly? Okay. So, her favorite books are party etiquette. Look, Freya, you and I can have a moment. That's what it oh, works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do party etiquette. Ah, uh, yes, parties. They seem so random and carefree, yet they're full of unwritten rules. There's too many to list in one go, but I'd say most of them basically boil down to applying some common sense. Valid. Hmm. And they could be really important, especially if you happen to be a special guest. Uh-huh. Special guests are party people and creatures of the night. No one knows how they got to the party. Maybe they're a friend of a friend of a friend, or someone who heard about the party from someone who's not even there. Sometimes a special guest could be a total stranger who just sort of joined you while they were getting to an after party. All right. It's random people you cho you choose to open your doors to, basically. Hmm. If one night you find yourself being a special guest in someone's party, please behave! Oh. Some special guests end up being lifelong friends, some end up being one-night friendships, and some end up being a general nuisance. One time at an after party, we had someone I've never seen before asking if he could lick my feet. He was polite about it at least, but still creepy. That face on Polly's face, though. <laughs> <laughs> At some point he threw his underwear off the balcony To this day I have no idea what the plan was there Fair enough Maybe a bold Now there's no going back in his nakedness Dunno Big yikes <laughs> Yeah and it should be so easy If a stranger invites you into their, ho in their home For an after party Maybe don't be a dick If you can do that chances are you're already following party etiquette Dang Oh, Jesus. Anyway, don't you worry. You and me can go partying soon. And afterwards, I can properly introduce you to after-party culture. Yeah? Ooh. It's a date. Polly says the rest listing some of her favorite party rules. Some are pretty obvious and some are quite surprising. Surely, good you know them now. Heck yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, Freya. You can either change your hitchhiker or if you want to keep oh. Stu, you can talk to him. Let's talk to Stu. Okay. Where he lives or his hobbies. And mind you, here's the thing. It runs just like Monster Prime, where if you, if Dahlia, if you want to try and go for Stu next time, you totally can. Fair enough. Uh, hobbies? Um, I love wrestling and Lucha Libre. Aww. I go practice two or three times a week, polishing my moves and exercising this bod. <laughs> He's precious. <laughs> and every other Friday, the wrestling group I'm part of meets up, and we do some small shows. Nothing serious, it's just for fun, but it's a lot of fun. I wanna look up who's actually. And it sounds like it. Is. Right? Wrestling is the best, dude. Like, think about it. It's sort of a sport, but it's also entertainment. You have all these characters and narratives. It's like the most epic movie, and it truly never ends. Of course it's KG. <laughs> I love that. Of my ex. Oh, yeah. He reminds me of my ex. Oh, oh fuck wow. yeah. I love he, it. Please. He, 
the body type is kind of similar. He couldn't smoke weed because he was allergic to THC, but he had mm -hmm. like real stoner vibes. Mm. And uh, he was really big into WWE. I am completely <laughs> okay with this. I am so keeping the voice on for my run. Fuck Let's yes, go. Yeah, I love, I love KG. <laughs> it may be yeah. the coolest form of culture out there. Oh my god, this guy's cool. Maybe. I loved it ever since I was a kid. Wrestlers are athletes and entertainers and storytellers and performers, the whole freaking package. He's actually precious. And when we do the shows, even if it's just for fun, we get free pizza. Free pizza. Free pizza, it's the fuel that makes the world go around. Totally. I joined the wrestling group pretty recently. I haven't been in a show myself yet, but I think it'll happen soon. I've been practicing a lot. Oh, I oh. want to romance him so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to come up with a cool character. Do you have any ideas? Lots! My first idea was being The Rock, since I'm made of stone. But that one's already <laughs> taken. <laughs> I really like weed, so I thought of cool names for weed, like Satan's Spinach or The Devil's Lettuce. <laughs> the Jazz Cabbage. Dude, that one rocks! Like, here comes the Jazz Cabbage with his smooth moves! Get ready for a jam session of pain! Or what about the Death Guard? Whoa! Because I'm a lifeguard by day, but a Death Guard by night? Are you a genius or what? You spend the rest of the night brainstorming more wrestler names for Stu and practicing some of his signature moves. It's tons of fun. Aww. Chill, dude. What if this road trip were, you know, more chill? Next week, all resources, gains, and losses are reduced by one, so it balances out uh, Polly's oh, and... Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Awesome. There we go. It looks like we have five more to go for magic if we want to go to the magic destination. Ooh, uh, okay, okay. All righty. I will be right back again. I'm so sorry. You gotta click the OK button. <laughs> yes.